I think there were some people waiting to see what's left to be said about what they did this weekend. Here's something with Georgia, though. The schedule that we all looked at, we're like, mm-hmm. this is the easiest road to Atlanta of all time. Missouri mm-hmm. next week, that's going to okay. be a really, really tough game. And then Ole Miss. So there are two games coming up because Ole Miss, again, we res- we we love Lane Kiffin. We love what he's built. But we still have to reserve judgment on them until we see them in another big game. But Georgia's got two weeks in a- ahead of them, Paul. But we're going to learn a lot about who they are. And, and not to just add one more to the pie, but you know, assuming they survive that, then they go to Knoxville, which I, I don't know what to make out of that game yet. Yeah, uh, who are they? Ten- because Tennessee still has to uh, you know deal – with Missouri uh, and, and a few other uh, foes, so but but it's still it will be it, it's, there's something eerie about late November in Knoxville, uh, assuming you're trying to to get your get yourself to uh, a, a Atlanta, which they probably will have already punched the ticket by then. But yeah, so uh, I, Missouri is a mystery. Uh, I mean, I I have friends uh, in the industry, analysts who say Missouri is not that great. I happen to think they're good. I'm mm-hmm. impressed with what Eli Drinkwich is doing, but so far, uh, you know, they, they have a nice win against Kentucky uh, in Lexington. I think a lot of people uh, will have wins in, against Kentucky and Lexington by the end of this year. Uh, and they beat Kansas state on a 61 yard field goal. And they were a shootout away with LSU. I mean, they could have won that game. Yeah, that, 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 you're Tibet. right. So, I mean, the, the, we're talking about a game. Had they, I mean, they had, they had a, I think, I think they had a double digit lead against 14 them. point lead, 13 or 14 point so, lead. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're talking, this could have been undefeated here. Uh, not, it wasn't far from being the game of the day. It, it isn't, but it, it wasn't far from it. Yeah. And, and when you look at Tennessee, I don't know what they are yet. And I don't know how that's possible through eight games. Because Joe Milton, I mean, Jesse Palmer said on the broadcast a number of times last night, he was right. There are plays and throws where Joe Milton makes a throw and you're like, oh, my God, this guy is a specimen of a quarterback. Then there's throws where he can't even keep it in the stadium. And then they've got two good running backs. Sometimes the defense shows up. Like last year, I could pin Tennessee. I could say Hendon Hooker. I could say Jalen Hyatt. And I could say they're, they're, they're an explosive team. I don't know what they are at this stage in the season, and I think that's okay. Well, what they did was was save their season against Kentucky, though, because that was that was a game they could have lost, uh, and and they were they were staring at seven and five or eight and four had they lost that game. That now they 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 they've got uh, two games that are that are uh, you know the Georgia game they'll be an underdog and uh, the Missouri game they'll be an underdog. Yeah.